Hi, it's Amanda the Angel Mystic and here is my weekly blog. So it's a little bit of a deep one this week and it's something I've been giving some thought to over the weekend after hearing about somebody passing over. Um, it was a guy that wasn't particularly old, uh, it was very much a shock to everyone and it gave me some time to sort of think about things and I thought I'd just... Um, share it with you guys and see what you think i'd love to hear back your thoughts on this but um i truly and honestly believe that when we come into this life we come in with a contract and the contract um has well one of the things it has in it is your expiry date if you like the day that you're going to leave and you know we'll often go to doctors and they'll say oh you know if you lose weight or you know if you look after a certain health condition it will extend your life now, how can it do that? How can it possibly do that? It can possibly improve the quality of the life that you have. But I don't really think it can extend your life because I believe the date that you are going to expire for whatever reason is set in stone and it isn't negotiable. So um, medics are obviously going on averages, um, you know, that sort of categories that they put everybody in and, and work out the average for things. But on a deeper level, on a spiritual level, that isn't going to matter. And I know sort of within my family, like my granddad, um, he died when my mum was quite young and um, he had angina. And I've heard people say, you know, oh, if he was alive now, they would have been able to treat that. And that's quite possibly true. But the fact is that never would have happened because it was then that his, his expiry date was. And often when people pass, it's a great shock to the people that are left, absolutely. But the person um, that passes over, maybe um, maybe something happened that somebody on, that's still on earth feels they had a part to play. So maybe you went on a different route than you normally would took and it was your idea and there was an accident. Or maybe you allowed them to climb a ladder and you should have, in your head, you've got, oh, I shouldn't have let them do that. All of that doesn't matter because it's their time to pass and that's for animals as well animals and people we're all absolutely the same we are a soul and it's a soul contract that has this expiry date on it um you know there's a lot of emotional stuff that goes on with people and i do honestly believe that when we don't deal with emotional problems they can physically manifest in our body as an ailment um, but whatever you know, the reason is that people pass over, whether it's suicide, whether it's an illness, whether it's an accident, it's all in our contract. It's in these records, it's records of our life, which are called the Akashic records. And it's so important to release the guilt um, when people pass that, you know, we should have done, we should have done. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And it's really hard to believe this in some really tragic cases, such as children. You know, it really sort of batters your head trying to get your head around all of this. But the one thing I really, really do know is that we don't come into this life on our own. And we don't leave this life on our own. We have our guardian angel with us all the time. And when we do pass over, we are going home, essentially. I have, I mean, I work as a medium as well, and I've never had any spirits coming through with regrets going, oh, I hate being over here, get me back. They absolutely love being in spirit. And the only regrets they ever have are in life. So make the most of your life that you've got live each day to the full i mean it's such a flippant comment to say but we really do have to do that we have to enjoy what we've got now so we can get more of the good things coming in and release that pressure that we put on ourselves so don't wait for the bad times to call your angels in use them for the good times too and use them right now starting today and start making your life feel a little bit smoother and easier because that's what happens when you start working with your angels. And the more you give time to connecting in with them and the more time that you can use to meditate and deepen your relationship with them, the greater benefits you will find. So I'd love to know what your thoughts on are all of all of this, because I've sort of been really, you know, thinking this through over the weekend and having chats with the upstairs and seeing what they had to say. So I just wanted to share it. Have a fantastic day. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.